So, uh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. okay. Hi everyone. So I'm back after a, a break. I took a break during winter when it was cold and dark outside and I didn't have any leftover energy. But now I'm back at it and I got a scroller box. So I thought I'd unbox it with you. What are you doing? It's mine. <laughs> so we're gonna unbox this today and uh, let's get started. So we're back at it and we're gonna open this one. And oh, Jesus, once again, I forgot the scissors. One second. And here we are. So we're gonna open this, this bad boy. And we're gonna open it. Ooh. There we are. Yay! Gonna have my my lovely look at this. I know it's not an unboxing of uh, of plants, but look at this a lovely fella. And I put it in a, a mug. It almost fits perfectly. Ah, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's see here. What do we have this time? Uh, we have. Oh, I see the prompt already. It's quiet morning. Oh, I'm not gonna look at that. That's for later. And we have a sticker. And, ooh, candy. Oh my God, that actually looks, looks like a watermelon. Can you see it? How, how, do, how do YouTubers do this? Just focus at it. Focus. It looks like a watermelon. There you are. No, okay. Yeah, look at that. And we got, ooh, Faber Castell. That's, isn't that a fancy brand? I think I actually got a, a like a travel paintbrush the last time too. Looks really, really nice. And it seems like it's a point tip. So that's perfect for me. I rarely use square tipped brushes. I probably should though. I haven't tried it before. <laughs> Let's see here. We have a, ooh, is a watercolor pencil? Is that, is that right? It says, can I read that? At least it's, um, right there. It says aquarelle. So that should be a watercolor pencil, but then again, it's lead. Interesting. And, oh, ooh, I see. So it's all watercolors. Oh my God, that's perfect for me. I always use watercolor the most. Like, okay, so I really want to try different mediums, but I, I know I'm gonna use these. Oh, that's perfect. And it's 12 crayons. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the artwork that comes with it. Oh, perfect. Oh, you can never get enough erasers. That's always what I'm, when I'm like in my groove, this is what I can't find every time. Like if I make a mistake and I'm, I'm rolling, I'm like, yeah, this, I miss this. I always need more erasers. And this too, actually. I don't use pencils that much. I usually use, um, is it called mechanical pencils? Like the ones you, yeah, those. I mean, you can, you can always have this. This is nice to have. Ah, it's beautiful. Look at this. Carla Kochua. And you can find her on Instagram under Carla Kochua. So if you, does it want to focus? Yes. There you are. Let's take a look at it again. It's really, really pretty. It's very nice. 
Wow. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, and we get one, one paper. Usually you get like four, three or four, but they're smaller. So this time you only get one and that's probably because it's like more high quality or something like that. Oh, yeah. So we only got one shot. That's going to be interesting because this time I want to try them out properly. So I might sketch up some, some flowers to match this one. Or maybe something else. We'll see. But yes, yeah, so I want to sketch up some, some small designs and we can try out the... Uh, the um, what's it called? <laughs> watercolor pencils of course so yeah we're gonna try it out just let me clean this up so there we have it Ooh. <laughs> so it's all set up it's ready to rumble and um, so since the prompt is quiet morning can you see it can you see it well it says quiet morning at least so I thought I'd just try to sketch up some of the things that I enjoy in the morning. Like for example a cup of coffee. Or... <laughs> well a cup of coffee apparently that's all I need. So yeah I'm gonna sketch up some, some tiny um, sketches and I'll try to colour them in afterwards. Alright. So what I can see is that it's actually blending really, really nicely. I thought that um, the pencils might like leave a mark because I haven't tried watercolor pencils before. So I always thought that like the, the pencils would scratch the paper and leave tiny lines from where you drew. But no, it's actually really, really smooth. So that's nice. And the colours are really vibrant as well. I didn't expect it to give up so much colour. So the cup got a bit darker than I had planned. It's not all bad. Experimenting. Right. So here's the coffee. Oh, is it gonna... <laughs> that's the thing I forget that <laughs> like when watercolour is wet it bleeds oh well it's probably just a reflection of the coffee in the white white cup let's pretend that that's what it is let's get some good old steam from up here I just wanted some more water, not like a river. Oh well. That's what happened when you get too eager. But like this, you can see those lines. So it leaves a bit of a like a line after the pencils have been been boomy. Shh shh. This is my calm painting time. You can't bother me now. Oh well, this didn't turn out that well, did it? Let's just make some more swirls. Hmm. Like a dirty coffee cup with some weird swirlies coming out of it. And that's what I want in the morning. But, I mean, the colours are really nice. Not that I've just tried like the black and brown one, but. I mean, it's not that bad. So what am I going to draw next? What else is good in the morning? Well, 
You know what, it's really embarrassing, but if I have candy, I always eat candy in the morning. So maybe I should try to draw this one. The water, no, watermelon, the watermelon candy. Let's open it up and uh, see what it's like. Yeah, so that's like a watermelon. I'm gonna draw this one. Stay there for reference. Oh, I like this. Well, watermelon is also really, really nice in the morning. But that's like a summer thing. I mean, at least we don't have <laughs> watermelons in our shops during winter here in Norway. So there we are. Then we have the... Ooh. Stay there. Like a light green base. All right, and then we have the darker green, makes like shadows across it. It's not shadows really, it's just the texture or pattern of the, of the watermelon skin. I've always loved that pattern, it's really, really nice. So here we have it. Should probably get some highlights in there as well, but I have to do that afterwards. Ooh. And since I'm not prepared at all, I'm just gonna do this on my table. Oh shit, I forgot that that makes it red. That seems fine. Okay. Oh, I like it. really nice. Colours are very very pretty. Very pretty. A bit more intense than what I usually use in my artworks. But I mean you can't you can't complain. You can always dull it down somehow. Okay, so I want to add some more, well, some yellow. I know it's not that much yellow in the actual candy, but I mean, maybe I'll add, oh shit. I'm, I'm so impatient, so <laughs> I'm just like tearing up the uh, painting. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Look at that. When I go over it, it, oh, there it is. So now the pencil is a bit wet and that makes it a lot more vibrant and it gives up of a lot more color. Huh, that's cool. Let's try it up here as well. Maybe I'm gonna try to shade something a bit more. I mean, this turned out a bit dirty. I'm afraid that if I mix black into this dark green, it's just going to turn like a muddy colour. This doesn't seem to want to blend. Maybe it's because the, like, the paper is wet or something like that. You see? It won't really like, loosen up from on the paper. Hmm. Ah, I want to try to shade it a little bit. And then maybe the white will work on top here. And this doesn't give off any color. Can you see any? It doesn't give off any colour. How does this work even? Oh well. Oh well. Let's just keep on going. So, as you can see, I'm a really messy sketcher. Or like, 
I, <laughs> I'm not really comfortable sketching in front of camera because I have three, like, <laughs> I have the base sketch, the messy sketch, like you do in, in Photoshop, you know? You have the Bessie, Bessie, <laughs> messy sketch, and then you have another sketch on top of that, and then you have your line work. And I do the same because I have a light box. I do the messy sketch, and when I'm like almost satisfied with that, I do a sketch on top of that one. And then I do the last one with my, my black liner. I'm just drowning this paper right now. Poor, poor paper. But yeah, so this is not my typical um, can you say quality? But I'm just testing it out, right? And it's so so difficult to stay within like only use the things you have right here. It's so tempting for me to go and get my, my fine liners or my highlights so I can highlight this one. Okay, so that's, <laughs> do you see the resemblance? And lastly, I just want to do a, a tiny heart. Just want to do a heart. That's all I need right now. Just a tiny heart. And there's one heart. I want to do more hearts. <laughs> Ta-da! So my masterpiece is done. Masterpiece! No. So well, that was fun. It was fun to try out some new, new uh, tools and uh, and stuff. Oh, I forgot to use this one. And also, well, I tried it. I tried it earlier. But yeah, this one. So now I just have to eat my gum. Oh my god, that's so good. Isn't there a thing that you shouldn't eat in front of the camera on YouTube? Oh, it's sour. Oh shit. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, so that was my scroller box unboxing. And I hope to see you next time. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me under AKB Illustrations, but with a, is it called underline? Underlined off after AKB. I'll probably just write it on the screen. So if you want to follow me there, you can. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.